Jeremy Oze is always I'm vibing with both of you guys. Okay, Come on. Right, we right, know this guy's good. No bullshit, bro. Like, how do you know Damon and shit, though? How do I know Damon? Damon and Reese and shit. Um, I well, I recently are in the same class like, in high school. Yeah, we grew, we like we're gonna graduate together until you know. Yeah, you know. But shit but um, pretty much like that's how. And then Yasin Neo pulled up one time to Jakai's, which is like one of my best friends. Okay. And me and Reese were already there hanging out and stuff with Jakai. And then I think Reese was like walking home with me. And he was like, he's like, bro, I feel bad. I robbed you when we were 16. But I want you to know it was for a grant, bro. I thought it was the smallest and the funniest shit ever, but I was like, I respect you for being like, yo, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no and then then he was like, You wanna come over to my friends Damien's? And then ever since me and Damien fucking met, we clicked. We we're the first people up and we just had like mad deep conversations and stuff and smoke speed. And ever since then, um, We've been really good friends. So nah, Damien's nah, Damien's real as fuck, for real. Or Red Bean, for the people who don't know Red Bean. But nah, yeah, Damien's real as fuck, but like, I've known Damien since I was probably like 13 years old. Yeah, like, that's what he was telling me. Oh, you talked about you mean? Yeah, 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 I was like, you know Mark's code? He's like, Mark's code? He means Marcus, <laughs> right? He's like, Marcus. <laughs> that's what he said. But he was like, oh my God. He was like so hyped that I had met you, because like, it was, it was a random thing. From fucking Big Wavy Draco show. <laughs> yeah, Wavy Fest. That, yeah. Or, I, don't know, I, don't know, I think it was right? the Halloween, Halloween or some yeah. shit. Like that. That yeah. shit was lit. That shit was lit. That was. Yeah, nah, it's a crazy, it's crazy how it's such a small world it is, bro. Yeah, no, for yeah. real. Like, because I didn't realize you, you were friends with them until I was, until they told me that you were friends with them. And they're like, I was like, yeah, I've been talking to this dude, Mars, the Mars go. <laughs> That's what Reese said, and I was like, what? And then Davia came over like a few days later and was talking about it. Uh huh. I don't know. If you want to get her attention? You can. Until she comes back, I saw you. Know. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, like actually, like it's funny. So like, Damien was the first person to ever get me to rap. Like, really? Yeah. No, I did that a lot for people. Oh, like, about him? Yeah, yeah. He gets people to rap and stuff and like just try new shit, bro. Yeah, of course, bro. He's a good dude. Like, I remember, like I said, so, like, I don't know if you know ER3, Eugene. Of course, I know Boogie. Yeah, you know Boogie, bet. You know, oh, yeah, you ain't right, though. Boogie, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Boogie, you really know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta say ER3. Oh, yeah, his yeah. music's fire, bro. Like, yeah. I want to get him back in the studio, but obviously. Yeah, soon, soon. Yeah, now he's, not like, he just got back being, like, being around and shit like that, so he'll be he back soon. He can message me a lot more, but I just... Yeah, you know, you know, you know. I, exactly. I love Boogie. I love Boogie. Yeah, now we all live in the best. I want to live good life. I just hope the best for him. Always. Yeah. So like, what's it called? So um, yeah, he was um, what's it called? So like, I was back friends with Boogie growing up. Like me and him played football together. Yeah. yeah we played like football like in middle school. And um, one time Damien came over. He was like, yeah, this is my boy from um, Northampton. Like we grew up together. And like they would rap and, free, and like they would rap and like freestyle together. He said him and Preacher too. Yo, Preacher, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro. Long live P, yo, forever and always. Long live P. I never met him, but I told I was told that he's been a really amazing dude in Delta. Yeah, P is a real life. Yeah, his, his, um, his dad makes music too. Profit, yeah, profit. profit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire. That's all. Fendi bags. Yeah, Fendi bags. Oh, Fendi bag. oh yeah, that's his dad. And now profit be going crazy too. Yeah, nah, like Dude, I didn't know he was his dad for a while. I was like, oh shit, that's nah. crazy. And then honestly, like even to like um like Boogie's stepdad, yeah. Benny, he was. That's too. why I was like, Preche and Boogie, they both sound very similar. So I was like, yeah, yeah it's because they influence yeah, each other. Of course, and then they grew up that. together. You know, I love that though. Like, that shit's so cool. Like mm-hmm. small stuff like it's that. It's crazy how like intertwined the music scene is for real. Like you know, like if you look from small little strings for sure. The more you look into Oh, shit. But how do you feel about your performance tonight? How do you think you did? Um, I think it could have obviously been better, but I think it went pretty good. I had a lot of people come up to me and be like, it's crazy. Uh-huh. Shit sounded cool. That's I had one dude come up to me that said you're the most lit performance so far. I was like, oh, thank you. But there's obviously other things. Everyone else lit in their own way. So, like, it's not just me. But hey, about, I know that shit feels good to hear that. Yeah, like for sure. Like I said, it always feels good when somebody else can support your artistic yeah, endeavor. I you know, got some people came up, take IGs. I like the, the idea of what the fest is. Yeah, fact for sure. Because I try to do the same thing at my own city, but it just takes it takes time, yeah, bro. It takes time. It's been it's building up for way longer, but like this one's pretty good. Yeah, it, it, I want to have you come out support. Nah, I definitely, but whenever you're free, yeah. Yeah. the last one, bro, I just wasn't around. I forgot. I forgot what it was. Deal, and honestly, no, I would totally have taken your 
what you were doing. Go make some money, bro. Like, yeah, fuck, sometimes, fuck, bro. like, I, if you would have said that any other time, even if it was like, I don't care, you gotta go make money. Bro. You gotta do your own thing. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, of course, bro. Sure. There'll always be more days to have a show. What happened? Uh, there'll be a lot more days to have, like, a, a concert or anything like that, like, at one point. So, yeah. actually, so, so how, how, how did your first show go? Like, the one you put on? The, 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 my first show that I ever put on, the first yeah. one I performed. Or, like, that show, what was it called? Like, Glarbnog, right? Glarbnog. <laughs> yeah, how'd that Glarbnog, go, bro? It, it went pretty good, actually. It wasn't that bad. Like, it was pretty lit. Um, I'm not going to lie. Pretty drunk. So, I kind of... You don't remember, huh? Yeah. I don't really want to do that again for one of my shows because it's just not good. Before, like, I have people come up to me and be like, yo, that shit was crazy after I do it. But, like, I don't remember doing the whole set. You want to be more saying aware, anything. Right? Yeah, I want to remember stuff. I want to remember my life. So it's like the drinking and stuff like that, to tile it down and just, like, vibe and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like a point to be wasted and then there's a point to be, like, yeah. yeah, I feel you, man. And like some people, I feel like get lost, especially myself, get lost between those lines. It's a very blurred line, a very long line for a lot of people. And I never, I want people to get elevate themselves. Because oh, yeah. like life sucks sometimes. Sometimes for sure. But there's a lot of bright things, and a lot of my life, I thought shit sucked, and only recently I've been like, damn. There's a lot more to this than what it is. So what caused the change? Like, did you have like an experience or something? Music, music, and the love for music, and people around me, and my friends and stuff like that. So I only lived from my friends for a while, but music really. I think doing shows more. I'm not gonna lie, like doing shows and seeing people's reactions and like hearing them talk and like having different conversations and going to experience stuff. This thing went out, but still, <laughs> but like music. Music. Music's always been there for me and ever since I started like really like writing it down, coping with the stuff I went through and like the stuff I lived through and the stuff I still will go through and still will live through. Music has been a very amazing way to express it. And art is just a beautiful thing. In my brain that's how I feel about it. Like I don't know. I have um autism and stuff like that, so it's very hard for me to Okay. Articulate stuff. So do you feel like music is a good outlet for you then? Yeah. For our artistry, for sure. That's yeah. fire. So then, um, so then, what's the songwriting process for you like? Like, like when you make a song, like how does that go down? Like, are you Either writing I'm it for? Sh I'm shitting, or I'm pissed off and angry about something. But a lot of times, I'm in the bathroom at work, being like, "Why the fuck am I here?" So I'll sit there for like 20, 30 minutes writing shit, and I'll get yelled at. But, well, but it is what it is. Or I'll walk thing. around work, just like typing in my phone. But like, I don't know. I just think of random shit, and I'll just write it down, and I'll just pretty much just go through that process like that and then i'll record the song or i'll practice it or so what i do is i find beats like randomly and just be like yeah i think this first for what i wrote at this point in my life will work for that and then if it doesn't i'll just try another thing because i have like probably over four thousand songs right now. wow i don't stop writing if you look at my google docs it's been there for like fucking five years but i write like every day probably might twice a day Fire, and it's just Oh, if like it wants to load <laughs> Nah Yo, we'll definitely have to check that out We'll definitely have to check that out on camera yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure you're good, you're good, you're good But yeah, nah, man But honestly I appreciate you chopping it up with me, Jose yeah, no, And before we you. even get out of here, man Like What's the word of inspiration Something you want to say to the people? Well, just do whatever you want to feel like do and live your life to the fullest, honestly. I like that, man. Shout out your Instagram before we go. Shout out, all right. Zay, it's, um, Z, uh, fuck. O zero Zay, O zero, or whatever you want to call it. Don't worry, and also, I'll put it in the bio for y'all okay, down here. Doing stuff. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> you, brother. It was real.